it's a it's a multifaceted uh, strategy obviously um, I don't think you can say you start here but there are many areas where which need to be attended to as I said in my speech you need to attend to skills because if there are no skills then you'll not be able to run you need to attend to the laws to harmonize you need to attend to uh, the transport. Who owns the transport? I w you heard that uh, there is a very strong voice about owning vessels that transport our goods. So that's an area that needs attention. Um, there is obviously financing and all that goes with it. Um, there is security uh, that we already are attending to because we've had problems on the Indian Ocean and now even on the Atlantic. So those need to be, those, are, those efforts need to be strengthened and the laws that govern that. Um, and it's not only, of course, the transport, it's also the resources that that are in those oceanic spaces which we should exploit ourselves. At the moment, they are exploited much more th by others than by ourselves. And so we need to ensure that we exploit not only for now, but also in a way that is sustainable for future generations. And of course, it means we have to work with other departments, we have to work with science and technology, we have to work with education in, in, in the continent. We have to work also with transport, not just the maritime transport, because what is carried from the port has to come from somewhere. So railroad is very important, bringing things to the port and and taking things out of the pot. So I think it would be wrong to say we will start here and, and wait with all the others. I think we need to approach them in a multifaceted and multidisciplinary manner. And then we then, as the Department of Transport, said this is an industry that is not developed. And therefore, this year, for instance, the minister then pronounced that this year in the Department of Transport is a maritime year. And we set targets for SAMHSA and all of us to meet. One of them is to say, if it is possible, we would be happy that by the end of this financial year, we have a, even one ship on our register. So what we are actually saying is that we want to have a register and we want to have ships in our register. But we also said to SAMHSA, we can't even begin to talk about these issues if we don't have skills. We need to have our own fleet. We need to participate in the international shipping, but also in the domestic shipping, in the regional shipping, in the continental shipping. And for us to do that, we must have our own ships. We have cargo, as it is always said, and therefore we must have ships. We believe, it is said, that if you control ships, you control maritime services. Those that know better than ourselves will say Singapore have fleets, but they decide to those ships to say, you are going to employ Philippines uh, 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 seafarers because they control the ships. You don't control the ships, you can't control what is happening in the ship because that ship is not yours anyway. And therefore, this is what we are actually doing. The skills, they are very important for us. Research is very important so that whatever decisions that we take are based and 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 and, and uh, uh, are based on uh, evidence on research evidence so that we don't continue to make mistakes. We want to learn from those countries. We are at the advantage. I want to believe that we come in this late. We therefore are going to learn from countries that are developed so that we don't repeat making mistakes that they they made at some stage when they were joining the industry.